hi everyone. I always say the same thing. <laughs> hi everyone. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> uh, I've done so many videos, but thank the God. Thank you, Lord, for making a way. Thank you so much. Um, you know, I wasn't sure. Again, I wasn't sure what to share. And this certain scripture came to mind real quick and I just I just knew I had to share this scripture and actually the scripture is found in Psalms chapter 30 excuse me Psalms 34 verse 18 it says the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit well that's the that's the scripture but then I got to reading around it and uh, of course I've read Psalms 34 many times but um, the rest of the scriptures were so good that I wanted to read the whole chapter so I do have the door open to the car so hopefully it won't get wind too much wind that way but um, it's such a nice day here it I mean it's it's pro I think it's only around 40 maybe 45 degrees but it's sunny. It might be up around 50 degrees today Fahrenheit. But for us, it's a blessing. <laughs> well, a lot of times we can have snow right now. We've had snow in October and it stayed on right until like May of the next year. So we're very, very fortunate. Knock on, I, I can't knock on wood. Uh, there's none handy. <laughs> Uh, I'm full of it today, aren't I? Anyway, <laughs> oh, you gotta laugh. There's uh, too much going on in this crazy world. I mean, if you really, if you really get serious and think about it all, it's uh, it can be very discouraging. But, and that's an understatement. Anyway, I'd like to read the whole chapter of Psalms 34, and here we go. It's so good. I love this chapter. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boasts in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I just, oh, I exalt the name of the Lord. He is so good. He's so precious. Here I go interrupting myself. Anyways, uh, on to verse 4. I sought the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. That was a gunshot, if you could hear it. Lord, deliver me now. <laughs> I'm, I'm really full of it today. But I, I've heard gunshots all, all day so far today. So it is fall time and hunting season, so it, it's understandable. If I fall over, you'll know what happened. <laughs> okay, I'll try to straighten up. They looked unto him and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. Oh, the Lord has saved me so many times. And I know he has... You must have heard that gunshot. What can I say, people? Okay, the Lord, uh, excuse me, the angel, I'll start over. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusts, uh, trusteth in the Lord. You know, living in this world that we're living in right now, we have to trust the Lord. I mean, we've always had to trust the Lord, but very important. There really is no other, there's no one else that you can turn to but the Lord. Uh, I'll try to continue on here. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord. Oh, fear the Lord ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. 
Come, ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desireth life, and loveth many days, that he may be good, that he may see good? Keep thy tongue from evil. Now this is really important. Keep thy tongue from evil, and thy lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil, and do good. Seek peace, and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. Now, now in all seriousness, um, before making this video, I was actually thinking about these things. There's so many, so many things that are happening right now that are so dark. It's so, so dark is the only way I can put it. But this scripture, oh, the Lord's eyes are on you. Always remember, always know, everything is going to be all right for those that trust in the Lord. It really is. I want to read that scripture just one more time. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. You know, those that do evil, it, it just doesn't pay. It doesn't pay. They will, they, will, uh, uh, they will answer to God for what they've done. That is for sure. That's all I can say. I can't say more, but you folks know what I'm talking about. The evil, those that are evil, they will surely pay the price for what they are doing. They will surely pay. But um, we're living in the last days. Jesus is soon to come. All these things were prophesied, so we're not surprised. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. I want to read that again. I, I just love that. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and delivereth them out of all their troubles. Now here comes the, the key verse. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. Oh, the Lord sees your broken heart. He really does, and I want to pray for you in a few minutes here. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. I mean, this isn't just a bunch of words. This is God's word. This is God speaking to us right now. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Praise God. Praise God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I just love... Psalms 34, don't you? I love Psalms 34. And oh, how we need the comfort from the Lord at this time. It may be, it may be very dark days, and, you know, before the Lord comes, I'm sure it will only get darker, but keep trusting the Lord. Keep trusting the Lord. He'll never fail you. He'll never fail you. And before you know it, we're going to be we're going to be rescued out of this crazy place. And uh, and I believe that it's very soon. I believe it's very soon. But Jesus will he will never fail you. He won't fail me. He is right there. And he's always right on time. He's never too early. But he's never too late. He's always right on time. Right on time. I need to shut the door just for a second here because I can feel the, the little breeze. I'm afraid it's going to affect my audio. But 
anyway you know what's coming next <laughs> you know what's coming next you know I love you folks you all know that anyway I love you folks that's why I do what I do I love the Lord most of all oh I love Jesus so much but I love you all as well and uh, and that verse of scripture I of course I closed my Bible and I, I wanted to read that again uh, I wanted to remind you folks this is so important and uh, I, I could I could try to to quote it uh, by memory but I want to make sure I get every word right the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and saveth such as of a contrite spirit oh Lord Jesus Lord I oh Lord I pray for each and every one out there those that uh, Lord I know that I'm talking to people oh they have a broken heart I have no idea really I don't know what it feels like to be them, but you do. You know all about it. And you're very near. And your word says that you're nigh unto them that are of a broken heart. Lord, I know, I know that you were right there with each one. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Lord, we try our best, but we're not perfect. And that's not what saves us. Your precious blood and believing that you are the Son of God and that you died for us, that's what saves us. We look to you for our salvation. But Lord, I know that I, I know that all of us, including myself, are not perfect. But we completely trust in you, O oh Lord Jesus. And we know that you are nigh. You are nigh unto those that have a broken heart. And there's so many, so many out there right now, they have a broken heart. And there's things that have gone wrong that they never, now I never, I, I didn't think I was going to say this, but uh, I didn't plan to, but there's things that have gone wrong, and you never thought these things would ever go wrong. You thought, that you were completely safe from what has happened you felt that you were completely safe from anything like that happening to you oh you've heard other people talk about their experience and what has happened in their own lives and you felt so bad for others I feel to say somebody you felt so bad for your sister that had to go your 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 blood sister in your family, you felt so bad for what your sister had to go through, but you never thought it would happen to you. Now that's a strange thing to say, but I know it's for somebody, but there's many others that you felt that, 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 that this thing would never have happened to you. It would never, never happen. But unfortunately it has and you have had a broken heart because of it. Jesus wants you to know that he is there. He is there with you. And he'll help you. He'll help you to the end. And there's a song coming to me right now. Oh, when I come to the end of life's journey, weary of life, and the battle is done. I don't know if I'm getting the words all right or not. Be not dismayed. Uh, oh, I wish I could remember the words. The cross of redemption. He'll understand and say, well done. It's an old hymn. He'll understand and say, well done. Oh, Jesus, he sees your broken heart. He knows those things that you didn't plan on life being this way or going this way. You had no plans. Your plans did not include anything like what has happened. But Jesus is going to see you through. If you just keep trusting in him, all oh, things are going to be so much different very soon. And you will soon forget all of these terrible, terrible things that have happened. 
you will soon forget it all because you'll be in the presence of Jesus and you'll be with those that love you so much and it's a pure, true love. It's a love that will never fail. You'll never be disheartened again. You'll never have a broken heart again. When we get over into the kingdom of God, you'll never have a broken heart again. But until then, I know that Jesus is going to give you peace that passes all understanding, and he'll give you the strength that you need to make it to the end. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Lord, I just believe... Lord, I just believe that, uh, that you have spoken to some very special, very special people out there. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I just feel, I feel that that really was truly, for some of you folks in particular, oh, you needed to hear that today. You needed that today for some reason. Well, obviously, some things have happened just today or yesterday or over the weekend here or maybe this past week that, uh, oh, God knows. He, he knows all about it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching again, and uh, God bless and keep you all. You, have, you all have a wonderful day, evening, night, morning, wherever you are in the world. God bless and keep each and every one of you. And know that there is this silly guy in Maine that really cares about you. More than that, Jesus, he cares and he loves you so much, as I do as well. But there's nobody that has the love like Jesus does, and he loves you so much. Anyway, God bless and keep you until next time. It's all good. Everything's going to be all right. And uh, one of these days, one of these days, We'll be walking on those streets of gold with our hand in Jesus' hand. What a day that's going to be. Until then, you all take care. Be safe. Stay encouraged. And bye for now.